Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday evening Al Safriya Palace Sheikh Shafi bin Nasser bin Hamoud Al Shafi, leader of Beni Hajar tribe, as well as Sheikh Shafi bin Salim Al Shafi, his brothers, sons, and cousins. His Majesty the King welcomed them all and held deep rooted historic kinship with Al Shafi and Al Hawajar tribe, lauding continued long standing ties and shared keenness on preserving them. The Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa took part alongside the Foreign Ministers of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Egypt in a meeting in the Egyptian capital Cairo dedicated to the crisis with Qatar. The Foreign Ministers issued a joint statement read out by Egypt's Foreign Minister Samah Shikri, which said the ministers met to consult on the ongoing efforts to halt Qatar's support for extremism and terrorism, its interferences in the internal affairs of Arab countries, and the threats by Qatar's policies to Arab national security and international peace and security. They stressed that the position of the four countries is based on the importance of abiding by the international conventions, charters, resolutions, and principles established in the charters of the United Nations, the League of Arab States, the Organization of the Islamic Cooperation, and the Conventions Against International Terrorism, with an emphasis on the following principles. Number one, commitment to combating extremism and terrorism in all its forms and to prevent their financing or providing safe havens. Number two, suspending all acts of provocation and speeches inciting to hatred or violence. Number three, full compliance with the Real Agreement of 2013 and the Supplementary Agreement and its implementation mechanisms of 2014 within the framework of the Gulf Cooperation Council. Number four, adherence to all the outcomes of the Arab Islamic American Summit held in May 2017 in Riyadh. Number five, refraining from interfering in the internal affairs of states and from supporting illegal entities. Number six, the responsibility of all states of the international community to confront all forms of extremism and terrorism as a threat to international peace and security. The four countries affirm that supporting extremism and terrorism and interfering in the internal affairs of the Arab countries is not an issue that tolerates bargaining and procrastination and that the demands presented to the state of Qatar were within the framework of ensuring adherence to the six above-mentioned principles, the protection of Arab national security and the upholding of international peace and security, the combat against extremism and terrorism, and the creation of the conditions for a political settlement of the crisis in the region. It is no longer possible to tolerate the destructive role played by the state of Qatar. In this context, the four countries expressed their appreciation for the decisive position adopted by U.S. President Donald Trump on the need for an immediate end to supporting extremism and terrorism and for their elimination and for the intolerability of any violations by any party in this regard. The ministers agreed to follow up the situation and hold their next meeting in Manama. 
Meanwhile, Egypt's Foreign Minister Samah Shukri said that the demands that the four other Arab states have made on Qatar are not negotiable. Speaking to an Egyptian television channel, Shukri added that the matter from the beginning was not up for negotiations as there is no middle ground. He also described Doha's response as a position that reflects a failure to realize the gravity of the situation. He reaffirmed that Qatar's destructive role by supporting terrorism in the region cannot be tolerated. In other developments, a senior Turkish official said only Ankara and Doha will decide on the fate of the Turkish military base in Qatar. Deputy Prime Minister Veysi Kainyak said that those who will make the decision about the base are the two countries that made the agreement, which are Qatar and Turkey. He reiterated Ankara's position that the Turkish base is for the benefit of the region's security, and that it is not an occupation or an annexation of force.